Okay, so this is my new video. Um, haven't been able to edit videos, I don't know how yet, so bear with me. But anyways, this is a 900 STX Kawasaki three-seater jet ski. And what I'm doing to this jet ski, if y'all watch my channel on everything that I have, uh, I'm trying something new, something that most people won't because it's pricey and don't know if it's gonna work or not. So it's kind of up in the air if this is even going to work. But if you watch my videos, you know what I'm about to show you. So I'm taking a three-seater jet ski and I've pulled the motor out because the motor is blown. It's going to cost too much to fix the motor. Um, it went through some catastrophic damage. The insides tore up pretty bad. Uh, but I'm selling the motor. I don't know how damaged it is. I'm not a mechanic. But I know it doesn't turn but 180 degrees and stops. You go the other way, it stops. Uh, all the pistons do move up and down on it. Uh, so I don't know how bad the damage is. It might be something simple. I don't know. I'm not a two-stroke mechanic. But I'm getting rid of the muffler, ex exhaust, uh, the whole motor, all the wiring unit, everything with it. Um, if anybody's interested, uh, South Carolina. But anyways, getting back to it. Um, so, yeah, STX. It's going to be, now it's going to be a uh, EV. So, going electric with it. This is the mock-up motor. This is not the motor I'm using. Uh, this is a uh, air cool, which goes in the air, of course. You know, it don't go in a hole where it's going to be closed and get hot. So I've got a water-cooled one on the way, exactly identical, but water-cooled. So that way I can hook these two lines coming from the jet pump to the uh, to the new motor to um, have it where it's uh, um, water-cooled. So electronics, so this whole motor will be water-cooled. I'm also putting two bilge pumps in here, uh, one in the rear and one in the front, just in case it's going to be hooked up to its own separate battery uh, back here, 12-volt battery. Um, be building a battery box right here for the actual 72 volt battery that goes with this um, Yeah, it's a Kawasaki uh, empty hull all the way through. It's very lightweight now since there's nothing in it um, And uh, get over to here. This is of course all know these are the big old batteries. These are not small battery That's a man hand and it's massive but uh, but yeah 72 volt uh, 5,000 watt battery 72 volts uh, 100 and 100 uh bma as i think bms i think it is uh it's continuous discharge it's 100 amps um so yes yeah, gonna go with that uh so yeah so um gonna have it all fixed up and done and uh yeah hopefully everything works out uh the reason why i'm doing this is because i can get this in state of south carolina i'm gonna get this registered uh the guy had title and everything for it so i'm able to go and get title and get it registered uh was going to cut the hole out just use the rear of it and stick it in my John boat. But the John boats have complications right now in getting it registered because it was my granddad's, which he's been passed away for a while. God rest his soul. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I can't do nothing with that boat over there and do my jet boat design, but I am going to put this on the water, three-seater. It's got a reverse dump bucket on it. The great part about this is a lot of people, you know, say in a lot of videos when they make jet boats, Oh, we get trash all up inside our intake and we can't get the it can't get that out because we have to get out in the water and we got to pull everything out to get the intake uh cleared out uh which is the intake if y'all familiar with these things that's the intake there well guess what i have an electric motor so with the electric motor what's going to happen with that is you know uh of course everything's going to work the same because you're going forward but i have a switch that i can reverse the motor which will suck water into here instead of pushing it out. It will suck the water in and it will blast any trash or, or grass or debris that possibly gets inside that thing is what I'm hoping for. Um, so I can thrust it, the motor in reverse. It will blast out any debris and then I can put it back and forward, take off again. Um, that is the theory there. Uh, this is all trial and error. I don't know if any of this is going to work. I don't know if I'm going to need a giant motor like 8,000 watt to, to 12,000 watt motor. Um, I've got the same motor on my racing four-wheeler and as y'all seen in some of the videos, um, it's pretty fast and it lasts for a long time. Battery's about three and a half hours per battery. Of course, the batteries are not cheap, but they're three and a half hours per charge. Um, I've got like two or three of them and I'm gonna get some more. Um, but yeah, the batteries are great. Uh, so if it could push my four-wheeler 65 plus miles an hour, um, with a 150 pound person on it with no issues and ride wheelies with my four wheeler. Um, as you can see, I'm sure you've seen the videos over there, but, uh, yeah, 
it could do that, why can't it push this lightweight haul jet ski across the water with my ass on top? Excuse my language, should not speak like that. But anyways, yeah, um, so trial and error. I'm gonna try it out, see what happens, uh, and go from there. And uh, I'll give you another video as we get through it and uh, let you see how things are progressing as I go through this and uh, how I wired it up and all that. So uh, subscribe and like the channel if you like this video to see, uh, see any more in the future. Um, but yeah, next video here in a few weeks when I get all the parts in to start installing and wiring this thing up. Uh, see y'all then.